Next, we're gonna be making a tray. So for this DIY, you're going to need some sort of plate. I'm gonna use this black plastic one. You're also gonna need some nautical rope. And my favorite new thing that Dollar Tree has out are these large wood rings. I'm gonna start by hot gluing my nautical rope to the center of my plate. I'm gonna to continue to wrap the nautical rope around, hot gluing it in place. Now, a trick here is you wanna make sure that you put the rope really tight together so that you don't see any of the plate underneath. Once you get to the edge, you're going to wrap it around the back and hot glue it in place. Next, I wanna connect my wood rings so that they will make a barrier on the side of my tray. So I grab some of my black macrame, I'm gonna hot glue that to my wood rings, wrap it around three times, hot glue it in place and cut off the excess. When you're adding that black macrame, make sure you don't do it too tight because you want your wood rings to be able to bend a little bit. I'm gonna repeat this step all the way around. Once I get all my wood rings added, I'm going to connect it at the end with one more piece of black macrame. I'm gonna set the wood rings on the top of my tray and I'm gonna use a combination of E6000 and hot glue to attach them to the top of my tray. Now you can use this tray anywhere in your decor. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment the word of the day, which is tray. Wall art can be really expensive when you buy it on high-end sites, but you can definitely recreate it at home. So for this DIY, you're going to need an 11 by 14 frame, one shower ring, and yarn of your choice. So you're gonna start by cutting your strips of yarn in pretty long strips. Next, you're going to double over the yarn and then you're going to loop it through your shower ring. And you're gonna repeat this all the way around until your shower ring is covered. You're gonna place the shower ring with all the yarn on it in the middle of your 11 by 14 frame. And this is the part you can kind of adjust depending on your taste. You can put it directly in the middle or adjust it up or down. You're going to evenly place the yarn around your frame and hot glue it in place. Once it's dry, you can cut off the excess and then you can style it in your home. One of my favorite free tips that you can do to make your home inexpensive is to add stems that you find anywhere out in nature, find them in your backyard, cut them down and you can add them in pretty vases in your house, doesn't cost you anything. This next DIY is perfect for elevating your kitchen. So you're gonna need any cutting board, the larger honestly the better and you're gonna need some wood box. I actually found mine thrifting. I'm gonna cut the box in half using my miter saw. I'm gonna add wood glue to the back side of the box and I'm going to position it onto my cutting board. I'll flip the cutting board over and add in some screws to hold it in place. I'm gonna let that wood glue dry completely and then you can add in any plant of your choice. I thought these air plants were the perfect touch and you can hang this in your kitchen. A 
Another thing I like to do in my living room to make it look really high end is to change up the pattern and texture of my pillows. So what I mean by that is you can use stripes and checks and plain colors and maybe add in some Sherpa material as well, but just stay with the same color scheme to really give it that high end look. Candles around your house can really help to elevate your space. So I'm gonna show you how to make one really inexpensively. So you're gonna need a glass jar. This could be one that you thrifted or one you had around your house. You're also gonna need some wood beads and floral wires. So I'm gonna start by bending the end of one of my floral wires, and then I'm gonna lace on the beads. I'm gonna add as many beads that will fit all the way around my glass container, and then I'll tie it off in the back. I wanna to continue to add beads to my glass container. So I'm actually gonna count how many beads that I put on, and then I'll continue to add the same amount of beads, wrap those around, and tie them in place. And I'll do this until my entire glass container is filled with beads. I'm gonna cut off the excess floral wire, then I'll flip my glass container upside down and then I'm gonna add in hot glue to the bottom of the container. Let that dry and then you could add in a candle of your choice and here's how it turned out. 